here with Charger side in Gerald Everett at camp. And uh, Gerald, first, thanks for the time, man. How you feeling today? Feeling pretty good. You know, day one to pass. Glad it's over. But uh, <laughs> it's still pretty good, you know, just to get the rust off a little bit. So for you, this is year two here with the Chargers. Mm -hmm. uh, a mm -hmm. lot has changed. New offensive coordinator. Right. From year one to year two, how, how has this offense changed? What's different now than it was last year? Well, last year, you know, obviously, as everyone saw, we kind of stalled late in the season, and that turned to be our ending point. But uh, we had a good offense last year. Uh, the ins and outs were pretty complex for opposing defenses. But this year, you know, we, we added a few more kinks. And uh, as you see, we, we've been scoring a lot today. And uh, I'm having a blast. You know, Kellen has done a great job coming in, implementing a little bit of what they were doing last year and kind of morphing it into what we were doing. So it feels pretty good. And what's it like playing? I mean, you're extremely talented. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. Now you got Johnson in here, yeah. Justin Herbert, a right. star. With, right. with the new OC, like, how do you get the most out of every person in this offense? Just holding each other accountable, um, treating every day as its own entity. And, you know, uh, today I made sure I wanted to tell my group, for one, that I want to treat every day and pass like game day and uh, just kind of make that a routine. But, you know, like we have a, a bunch of stars, like you mentioned before, with the receivers and the running backs and obviously with Justin. Um, you know, we just want to be as best we can be for each other and, you know, for the organization. Uh, you know, you guys, uh, or you've been, you know, you were here before this. You, you've been a couple other places. How does this offense that you're in now compare to like, some of the other places, like you were with, you know, the Rams and, and whatever, how does this compare to some of the other the offenses you've been in? Well, football is football. Um, obviously, you know, having a spread offense. I was blessed to go into Sean McVay's offense uh, my rookie year in 2017. And, you know, he, he taught me the game really well, the ins and outs, and he, he kind of simplified it for me, uh, for lack of better words. But, uh, offense is offense around the league. We all run similar concepts, and it's just the terminology that really uh, differentiates each other. So, um, but here, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty cut and dry. Everybody can play any spot, so you really just have to know the concept rather than your own position. And you came here last year, and you mm -hmm. put up a career year numbers-wise. You helped. We play fantasy. You helped a lot of people <laughs> win in fantasy football. But <laughs> how do you continue then coming off of your best year as a pro? How do you continue to better your game? Really, just trying to reach for the stars, man. Really, just not being content and just trying to be my best self each year and trying to eclipse my previous production. Uh, it's really helped me, obviously, coming from Seattle a year ago, um, you know, playing with DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and Russell Wilson. Those are all the great stars in the league, and, you know, they'll keep continue to have success. But um, coming over here with Justin and Keenan and Mike and now Quentin, uh, we just want to really reach for the stars and just see how good we can really be. You uh, playing the tight end position, I know all people always talk about it takes a little bit longer to develop. As you know, somebody who's doing this, mm -hmm. what is it about being a tight end that takes maybe guys a couple extra years to sort of get ingratiated and, and integrated into the NFL? Just finding your role within the organization that you play for, um, really also finding yourself in the league. I mean, everybody has college success if you are fortunate enough to go to the NFL, but really just trying to grow into a, star, a young star and, you know, do as best you can for yourself and for your organization and just see where that takes you. And, again, playing fantasy and stuff, a lot of people are going to be thinking about drafting you and your teammates. Why should they be so excited about this Chargers offense this year? It's a freak show. I mean, we, <laughs> have, we, have, uh, we have a bunch of stars. You know, I really like to say that we have a super team this year on both sides of the ball, not just offense, but obviously we have Dervin James and Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, et cetera. Um, and, you know, we just really want to just be as best we can be. And we didn't we didn't really end the year last year on the best of terms. And it left a bad taste in our mouth. So really, we just want to see how far we can go, because as you guys know, the NFL changes every year and this roster changes every year. So we can't tell the future. So we really just want to be living the moment and just be in the now. You got a lot of height on this team. Oh, yeah. The pass catchers. Right, I mean, right. you guys are going to be some red zone monsters, I right, think, this right. year. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Um, we're definitely going to throw a lot of jump balls, but we have a lot of speed too. You know, um, we're blessed to have height and ability and speed. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see those three components align when the season comes. A lot of former basketball players, it seems. Who who's got the best game on on and the of the pass catchers? <laughs> uh, I'd have to, I'd be lying if I didn't say myself. But uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, Keenan he's a big hooper. Uh, Donald's a big hooper, and uh, that's really all I've seen. Um, up to this point, but you know, I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, we're all athletes and we're all talented, so you know, I wouldn't. I, I, I'd be lying but, if but I. But yourself, yeah, but I, would have to, I would have to go myself for sure, for sure, for sure. Hey, well, Gerald, man, we appreciate the time and uh, yeah. best of luck this season. I appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you for having you so me much. on. All right.